What's going on guys? Hope everyone is having a fantastic Monday afternoon. I'm actually out here in the heart of Miami. Um, I'm telling you, uh, the Sunshine State is always an amazing place to uh, continuously to witness new things and witness people just grow. So, you know, the topic that we're actually going to be talking about today is actually how to really set up, uh, how to really get funding for your current business or how to purchase an existing business and that you're able to actually get funding uh, through the bank. So, um, and especially in the year 2021, you know, a lot of uh, entrepreneurs are actually born, are going to be coming out of the woodwork, leave their nine to five jobs because of, of uh, the ability on how they can actually do things a little bit differently than exchanging time for dollars, right? So, with an H Corp, guys, so the first thing that you really need in order to really get your business up and running. Uh, and say if you're looking to get funding from the bank because it's basically like a resume guys right so the same way like how we go to a job interview and we go with the intention of getting the job we come in there in a suit if you're uh, a woman you come there in a nice uh, you know skirt whatever the case might be blouse you know um, you know guys go there in a suit shirt and tie and we need to sell ourselves in order for us to get the job. So we are putting on the best you, the best version of yourself for you to get that job. So similar to acquiring funding when you're going to the bank. So you need to put on the best presentation uh, in terms of what your business looks like so they can look and then it'd be like, hey, listen, X, Y, Z, I'm able to give you the funding. X, Y, Z, you're able to get that because I see that you already have a resume this big, right? So it's similar. The banks will only give you what you can qualify for. Same way like how you have a credit card, you go to the bank and you're like, hey listen, I wanna go ahead and qualify for a $10,000 card and if, you, if your highest limit is only 5,000, you're not gonna go ahead and get it. So is this really just presenting yourself in a way where you're, without a shadow of a doubt, are able to get that sort of funding, right? So um, without further ado, so basically first thing that you acquire is the H Corp. And your H Corp is simply uh, just uh, you purchasing a business that had that has been in good standing, that has no sort of tax liens on these businesses, and you're able to go ahead and purchase that. So after you're doing that, you need to obviously set up a business address, business telephone number, and also as well, you need to create a logo and website for the new H Corp. So all that an H Corp is, guys is it's it's a shelf corp that's already been sitting on the shelf for quite some time and it has a uh, history behind it so usually whenever you're acquiring say for example 100k in funding you need about a good two to three year old age corp so you are at least when you go to whatever lender that you're going to go get to to get that funding they recognize that you already have that you have a history that you're not just a new newcomer to the game and I don't know if you guys know this, but Donald Trump actually does the same exact thing. Donald Trump has over 500 LLCs. So if he's able to go ahead and do the same thing as well, why not copy and have the results that he has, right? Because he's actually a really, really smart business guy. So I follow in terms of what he does in terms of business because he's a very smart guy with doing that, right? You know, so, and uh, you know, one of, the, one of the amazing things as well, after acquiring the H Corp, and then you need to obviously uh, go to iris.gov to buy an EIN number. You also need to acquire a DUNS number as well. So H Corp, uh, business address, business telephone number, um, uh, EIN number, DUNS number. You also need to do a foreign filing for your business. So you're giving yourself the ability to do business in whatever state that you're that you're that you're that you have access to, that you're going that you want to be doing business within. Because these age courts that you get, guys, are for are from other states that that myself and my other business partners have access to. You uh, you guys are able to get those because of the ability that we have on acquiring those businesses. So usually, if you're going to go ahead and start business credit, it can take about a good three to four years for the banks to really to see and to really to recognize your business, where they're able to give you large amounts of funding, large amounts of money. Right, so it is in your best interest if you're wanting to start uh, this process. Uh, I'm also on Instagram and Facebook as well. You know, uh, one of the easiest platforms that, that, that I usually communicate on. You can also reach me here on uh, my YouTube channel as well. So, 
uh, it's a very simple process. So let me just run back a couple of the steps. H Corp. Um, you acquire the H Corp. Uh, you need to acquire business trade lines. So business trade lines, all there simply is are trade lines saying that you're almost completed paying off those loans. And we actually add those to your business profile, your business uh, credit, right? So now you're so now when those are established on the current LLC that you actually have bought and you do the foreign filing as well as now you're registering with Sunbiz, which is the Secretary of State, you're able to go ahead and now really go to the bank, you dressed up all nice, your resume has exactly XYZ that the banks need, and they're like, Hey listen, Jeffrey, now we can give you funding. Hey John, now we can give you